Once a generalist role, data scientists were the Swiss army knives of the tech world. From sourcing and cleaning data, to building and deploying models, to building dashboards, to providing recommendations to the business, these people did it all. But that was then, and this is now. Data science as a field has stratified into different, much more specialized roles. You can sort of think about it as a web developer being either front end or back end or DevOps or anything of those flavors. Even before it was difficult to transition into data science, but now it's even harder, especially considering there are very few job offerings compared to several years ago. So what do you do? The key to landing a job is specialization. You need to know how to do one thing and do it really well. So in this video, we'll discuss data science specializations that are looked for the most in this job market. The first specialization is a data engineer. Data engineers primarily focus on enabling data for other teams like ML engineers. They build data pipelines, helping to clean raw, dirty data and storing a better version of it for users of that data. They optimize data systems and help build infrastructure as well. Their main tasks include constructing data pipelines, ensuring data architecture is set up for scalability and managing the flow of data. They handle the collection, storage, processing, and decimation of large sets of data because their goal is to enable the data analysts and ML engineers with their work, since data is everything to them. So in terms of skills, a data engineer should be proficient in database management, ETL tools like SQL, programming languages such as Python, PySpark, and Spark SQL, and knowledge of distributed systems like Hadoop or Spark. Data engineers are critical in making data enabled and accessible and usable for analysis, ensuring the data's integrity and efficiency. In terms of a project, as an example, let's imagine an e-commerce platform is building a recommendator engine. The data engineer would set up and maintain the data infrastructure required for the system. This basically means that he or she will be building and managing data pipelines to collect, store, and process data from different sources, and ensuring the data is clean, structured, and accessible for analysis and model building by other teams like a data analyst or a machine learning engineering team. Now let's start off with what a data scientist is today. Today's data scientist is more focused on extracting insights from data using advanced statistical analysis predictive modeling, and machine learning techniques. They conduct complex data analysis, build sophisticated statistical models, and use machine learning algorithms to derive insights. It often involves experimenting with new models and hypothesis testing to validate and refine these models. Now, it might sound a lot like what an ML engineer or a data analyst does, However, data scientists don't primarily focus on optimizing models for production, unlike an ML engineer. Data scientists are more involved in the initial stages of model development and data exploration, where the primary goal is to extract insights and patterns from data for strategic decision-making. Compared to data analysts, they engage in more complex modeling and use a wider range of advanced statistical techniques. Can I say that data analysts are poor men's data scientists without everyone getting offended? In terms of skills, data scientists have to be very strong in statistics. And then they also need to know a little bit about machine learning and coding in Python and R. A data scientist's work is crucial in predicting future trends, identifying patterns in the data, and helping the business make informed decisions based on that data. And in terms of project as an example, as a data scientist, you would be responsible for the overall design and development of a recommendator engine. This means choosing the right statistical test and model for analyzing user behavior and identifying patterns. Then using ML techniques to build and test various models to see which one predicts the customer's behavior the best. Machine learning engineers focus on developing and implementing and designing and creating machine learning models in systems and applications. However, here the emphasis is more on software engineering best practices and deployment of these models. 
they take the prototypes developed by the data scientists and turn them into fully functioning, scalable, and efficient machine learning solutions. This includes both the development and the deployment of these machine learning models. Think ML Ops. There is also a world where ML engineers would also develop the prototype. It all depends on how the company wants to set up their teams. Now, in terms of skills, ML engineers must have strong coding skills. So think Python and Scala. They also need to have, obviously, experience working with machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. And lastly, having knowledge of software development best practices and tools would be tremendously helpful, especially since they deal with data at scale and also in production. You basically cannot suck and still have a job in this world. They are instrumental in bringing ML models into production and significantly impacting the automation and the AI of these systems and platforms. So if you take the same project that we've been talking about, about that e-commerce company building a recommendation engine, the ML engineer would focus on optimizing and scaling the model and implementing it into the existing production environment. They will also ensure its performance and efficiency by continuously monitoring and updating the model as needed. Think MLOps. So the next role is business and data analysts. So a business and data analyst, they are focused on analyzing data to provide actionable insights for making business decisions. They interpret data and analyze results using statistical techniques, provide ongoing reports, and utilize data visualization tools to present findings to their business stakeholders, often in marketing and in sales. They have to have strong analytical skills and be proficient in SQL and in Excel, in data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI, and also most importantly, a good understanding of business operations and strategy. Their insights drive business strategies, improve processes, and contribute to data-driven decision-making in an organization. So in our project that we've been mentioning, the business or data analysts would examine the data to provide insights into user behavior and preferences. They use statistical analyses to understand user segments and trends, and they create reports or dashboards that help the business teams understand the impact of the recommendator system on sales and customer engagement segments. And so our last role, the business intelligence engineer. A BI engineer is specialized in transforming data into actionable insights in terms of visualizations and providing the most digestible format for their users. They are responsible for developing, deploying, and maintaining BI visual interfaces, which include query tools, data visualization and interactive dashboards, ad hoc reporting, and data model tooling. BI engineers are experts in data modeling, database technologies, and BI tools like Tableau and Microsoft Power BI. They also should have a good knowledge of SQL and data warehousing. They are crucial in making data comprehensible for non-technical decision makers. This means that they need to make the graphics look nice and easily understandable. Also, it means that they need to make the dashboards lightning fast. This completely influences the strategic decision of the business. And in terms of project, the BI engineer would work on visualizing the data related to the recommendator system's performance. They create dashboards and reports that track key metrics like click-through rates, conversion rates, and user engagement. This role involves translating the data into an easily understandable format for stakeholders to make data-driven decisions about the system itself. This would affect overall business strategies. Well, this is the data science industry today. You can moan about it or you can accept it, learn from it and adapt to it. I'm always for the second approach with a little moaning now and then. The five data science roles I discuss are the most common specializations you'll find in job openings. So I hope I cleared the air a bit with talking about specifics of each role. If you like content like this, please subscribe to this channel and go on to stratascratch.com to get data science resources. Thank you.